metallic pinata colors are really great. We've got silver and rich gold. They can basically do a lot of the jobs that silver or gold leaf can do. Today I also have some other things to help me with this job. I've got chili pepper red, clear extender, cleanup solution, and a little black Dynaflow. Also, I've got some sponges. That's about all you need. Here we have Aladdin's lamp. Now it's looking pretty much worse for wear, but we can really pizzazz that up with some pinata. So what I'm going to do is take some of the red, the chili pepper red, and apply it to the sponge, and then it just goes on super smooth, just like a marker, onto the plastic surface. Pinata colors are very shiny and lustrous. They don't take very long to dry either, so we can put on the top coat very quickly. Just add the gold, and then I pull it on the parts I want to look the very shiniest because it does dissolve some of the red that it was below it. So if you um, do the shiniest parts first and then say the bottom next, you get a little more red in that below and it just makes for a nice shadow and makes it look more three-dimensional. Pinata is very good for glass and plastic, but it also sticks to other things like leather. So instead of bronzing some baby shoes, I'm going to gild them right here. So I'll do the same thing. I add a red base coat and then I can come back with gold and put on this beautiful, lustrous gilding. Now, pinata is permanent and it is waterproof, but with the cleanup solution I can remove it and re-reveal these sequins that were on the shoe already. But it isn't a wasted step because I still get all of the red and gold down in the cracks in between the sequins. Now for this example, I'm going to do something slightly different. First, I'm going to put down a silver base coat, and it covers very nicely, just like you saw the gold and chili pepper red did. Uh, you can do this very quickly. Now I add some Dynaflow, and the Dynaflow is so thin that it sinks into all the little crevices and nooks and crannies as well as just painting it. Now I'm going to remove most of this paint and I'm going to do that by sponging it off. I took a dry sponge and started working it off. It looked kind of scratchy so then I wet the sponge and came back and took it off and it suddenly looks like a pewter figurine when it's really just plastic. So as you can see, you can really spice things up with the metallic pinata colors, and they look great, and they just shine like crazy.